15. The mic's too low. Mm. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. You're ruining my co- <laughs> My god, bro. <laughs> I'm saving that. I'm saving that. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It is your boy Dismo here. So, in today's video, what you guys will be watching is a free for all deatomizer strike on the map Scorch. This is a map I really don't like to play. And I'm playing free for all because I normally never play free for all. And that's because, watch right here, the spawns are so messed up. That guy spawned literally behind an enemy, and I was able to pick up them both up. I'm glad I was able to get both kills. But that's the main reason why I haven't been playing free for all is the spawns in this game are atrocious and they're just awful. But what I have noticed is that playing free for all is probably one of the easiest ways to get your first deatomizer strike. Now, TDM, in my opinion, is the easiest to get it, but you run into the problems of having really, really sweaty teammates who will end then end the game, or as you guys have seen in multiple streams, that will be about to win the game a couple kills off, and I'll need like three or four kills to get my deatomizer, and there's only three or four kills left, and my teammates will pick up the last of those kills and then i'll end up being like two to three kills off a of deatomizer and i probably would have gotten it if the game was longer the reason why i like free for all though is the fact that you don't have to deal with that all you gotta do is worry about like sweaty enemies which you really can't avoid eventually you're gonna find some people who are very very good at the game that's just a given but playing free for all you have seven people to kill opposed to six and you don't have to worry about teammates stealing your kills so as long as you only get i mean if you want to call in your deatomizer you have to get minimum four kills or maximum four kills then die and then you can still go on the streak but you can still get the deatomizer strike you just won't be able to call it in if you get five kills and die then go for it again uh just overall free for all is probably one of the best ways to get your first deatomizer if you guys have been struggling to get it in domination or tdm definitely go try free for all and the way you guys would want to play this is you guys would want to play this kind of conservative and passive if you can see how the gameplay has already been i'm kind of going from one side of the map to the other but i'm sticking to the outskirts i never push the mid of the map i never push anywhere that i normally don't like right there that's the only time i pushed into that area and look it almost cost me because as soon as i pushed towards mid which is b flag everyone started spawning behind me there's a guy that comes right here and then i spin around and then there's another guy coming up and then a guy drops down right here so like it was just absolutely crazy and that was all my mistake because i pushed the wrong area and right here when i actually had my advanced uav up people kept joining the party and then leaving the party and so i lost a couple of good seconds of my advanced uav but overall the way you guys want to play this is just play very conservative and just don't camp if you camp just make sure you're moving when you're camping uh because i don't really like the term like the, when i think of camping what i think of is people that sit in one spot with like c4s and claymores or something like that and they just don't move they stay there that's the type of camping that i don't like but there's a difference between camping and then like conservative playing the way i play is i basically just jump from one side of the map to the other but i do it in a way that i'm changing up my positions every time i get a kill so if an enemy comes they're like they're gonna be thinking i'm in one spot and then i could be behind them or i could be a couple steps in front of them and then it could give me the slight advantage of winning the gunfight and dropping the nuke this was actually my second game on for the day just got out of class and i wanted to play some free for all first game on i think i choked it on i think i was like on a 17 and i choked it and i was like you know what i'm gonna go for a deatomizer strike real quick and so ended up getting it right here and then i end up calling it in after i pick up four kills because if you guys didn't know that you can actually get more kills in free for all if you call in the deatomizer after 25 kills i ended up ending this game i think with 35 kills which is five kills over the maximum but i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did please drop a like comment in the comment section below if you guys think free for all is easier or not and uh subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i'm going to be streaming later tonight so i'll catch you guys in the stream and we'll see you in the next video peace